Unlocking the Family Tree, Understanding and Describing Family Relationships in English. Hello, English learners. Welcome back to our English language learning series. Today, we're going to dive into an important part of introducing yourself, describing your family background. More specifically, we will learn how to describe various family relationships. It's not just about brothers and sisters. There are so many different relationships within a family, and we'll help you understand and explain them all in English. The immediate family is the one you usually live with or see on a daily basis. It includes your parents, siblings, and children if you have any. Let's start by learning some key terms. Father, your male parent. Mother, your female parent. Brother, a male sibling. Sister, a female sibling. Son, a male child. Daughter, a female child. If you want to talk about your family, you could say, I have two brothers and one sister. My mother is a teacher, and my father is an engineer. Beyond the immediate family, we have the extended family. This includes your grandparents, aunts, uncles, cousins, and even more. Here are some important terms. Grandfather, granddad, the father of your mother or father. Grandmother, grandma, the mother of your mother or father. Aunt, the sister of your mother or father, or the wife of your uncle. Uncle, the brother of your mother or father, or the husband of your aunt. Cousin, the child of your aunt or uncle. To describe your extended family, you could say, my grandma lives with us. I also have an aunt who is a doctor, and I have three cousins. Family relationships can become a bit more complex when marriages, remarriages, and partnerships come into play. This introduces concepts such as in-laws and stepfamily. Let's learn these terms. Father-in-law, mother-in-law, the father, mother of your spouse. Brother-in-law, sister-in-law, the brother, sister of your spouse, or the spouse of your sibling. Stepfather, stepmother, the person your parent has remarried. Stepsister, stepbrother, the child of your stepmother or stepfather. For instance, you might say, my father-in-law is a retired police officer. I also have a stepsister who is in college. There are also adoptive families and godparents which play significant roles in many people's lives. Here are the key terms. Adoptive father, mother, the person who has legally adopted you as their child. Adopted brother, sister, a person who has been legally adopted by your parents. Godfather, godmother, a person chosen by your parents to take an interest in your personal and spiritual development. In context, you could say, my godmother is my aunt. She always gives me advice and support. That's a wrap for today's lesson. We've explored the various ways you can describe your family relationships in English, from immediate family members to extended family, in-laws, stepfamily, adoptive family, and godparents. Remember, practice makes perfect. Try to use these terms in your everyday conversations to get more comfortable with them. Thank you for joining us today, and we hope this video has been helpful. Stay tuned for more English language learning videos. Until then, keep practicing, and we'll see you next time.